Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks video. So I was supposed to do this video on Easter Sunday but because it was Easter Sunday the time just flew by and I had to put out a normal video so apologies for the delay because I did say I would do it on Sunday. But here we have my little video that I've been getting a request about quite a lot. Um, and it's just to talk about my electric candle warmer, basically. So a lot of people that love candles, you know that sometimes when I do my reviews, I say I burnt this in my candle lamp, um, under my candle lamp rather, rather than um, burning it with the wick. And a lot of people don't know what it is still. So this is all it is. And a plug-in electric warmer. The website I bought this from is called Candle Sniffs and Gifts. There's not actually many places that sell these at the moment, but um, among the candle community community on Facebook, there's quite a few people that have these. There's quite a few people that dislike the thought of them. Um, they think that it doesn't give off the same throw. But to me, obviously, everyone's opinion is different. I personally think that this has saved a lot of Yankee candles that I've had. Um, it definitely, for me, makes the throw better. So this is my electric black chrome candle warmer so you can see the color of it there nice and shiny it does need a lot of cleaning because the dust shows on it um, and down here you can see we've got the dimmer switch so you can use that to turn it all the way off just in case you don't want to um, unplug it every night and then you can click it back on and turn it all the way up or you can dim it so to be honest the the dimming only really matters on how warm your room is, how small your room is, um, and how big you want the wax pool. So you'll see here, my wax pool is maybe about an inch. Um, but again, if you've got a really warm bedroom and you have it turned all the way up, the pool is going to be bigger. Um, if you've got a small room and it's a strong candle, you might want to turn the, the switch down a little bit so it's not quite as intense. But I always have mine on as high as it will go because I have quite a big room to fill. So I always need it to be as intense as it can be. But if you do get a strong candle, you can just turn it down. Um, and the good thing about these as well is I use mine as a little lamp in the living room as well. So it does double. Um, you can see down here it looks like it is pulling at the bottom as well. But the main reason for that is because the sun is shining straight through my living room window today. So... I've had to just pull the blinds a little bit because it is actually making the whole candle heat up. Um, so yeah, you will only get that top layer pull when you're using your candle lamp. So the main benefit for these is you don't get any soot. There is no soot coming off. Um, none of the walls end up getting all grubby and dirty. And as you can imagine, I burn a lot of candles. So to me, ending up with black ceilings isn't the best. So that's one benefit. The second benefit is I think that they do throw better underneath the lamp, um, especially if you've got a weak performing candle. It's always good to whack it under the lamp. It makes them burn evenly and they last a lot longer. So this I, I reviewed Discovery quite a while ago and you can see I've been burning this every day and I only now just need to tip away that next layer. But you can see how much of that candle I still have left. I would say... On a, on a strong candle, obviously, every candle is going to be slightly different depending on how strong they are and what the scent is. But on a strong candle, I can burn the same layer for like five, six days sometimes before it completely loses the smell. So you are really getting your money's worth out of certain candles with a candle lamp. My third main reason for loving these is they're a lot safer. So you're not burning anything. Um, obviously, some candles have um, certain chemicals in them that are no good that you get off when burning and having an open flame is just a little bit unsafe in general anyway so if you've got kids or pets I definitely think this is better to have um, I have mine quite low down to the floor um, in my living room so I always worry if we're playing with the dogs they'll knock it but I have knocked this once since I've had it and the minute the wax came out, it went solid instantly. It wasn't hot. It just completely solidified instantly. Um, and it's just, for me, when I was working in my office before lockdown, it was a nice thing to be able to leave on while I was at work and still come home and have, obviously, the lovely scent of a candle but not have to worry about leaving an open flame on because, obviously, that's very unsafe. So this is just good for if, if you don't want to have to worry about leaving a candle on. 
Um, so there's quite a few good reasons there for me. Um, I don't really have any negatives about this. You can see up there, all you have to do is replace the bulb when the bulb goes. So candle sniffs and gifts do have the bulbs. Um, they're one ninety nine on their website, but you don't have to get them from there. They're little little halogen bulbs that you can buy from a supermarket. I normally buy mine um, online and get a few at once. So the price does work out a little bit different um, and a little bit cheaper. They are literally just halogen bulbs, which you can plop up there. And again, then you've still got the dimmer switch, which helps. So that is my candle lamp. Um, I will put the link down below for this as well, just so you can have a look. They're sold out of quite a few of them at the moment. I'm just having a look now. There's different styles as well. You don't have to have this one. This is the lantern style. They also do this style in um, a matte black. So this is chrome black. They do antique gold. They do light grey, copper, silver, um, white glitter and normal white. So there's quite a few options there. They also do um, a couple of other little styles as well that you can have a look through on the website. They take um, a 35 watt halogen bulb just in case anyone was wondering. You can use it just as a lamp just in case you haven't got a candle and you still want it on. Like I said earlier, I like to use mine as both. Um, and yeah, that is that is my lamp. I love it. I've had it for ages now and I'm surprised there isn't more websites that are really picking up on this and use it like selling these. I really like them. This one in particular is $26.99. Um, I'm just having a look on there now. There's a different style that's on there for $17.99. There's a different one on there that's £28. So again, just have a little look through the website. They're out of stock at the moment of a lot of them, but they do get them in quite regularly. They've got a Facebook page you can keep an eye on as well. But most style jars do fit under this. You can see you might get some that don't. Obviously, this is how much room I've got on the bottom. You can see there's quite a bit of extra room there if I did have a big one. Now, the reason I've got this one next to it is just to show you what happens when you have a shorter jar. So obviously, let me take this one off. So if you've got a shorter jar, oh, I won't take the lid off that, but you can see. So I've put that under there, but you can see how much further away the wax is to the light. So that's going to make a difference even if it's on full power. So what they also sell is a little candle step. So that literally... They've got them on their website in black and white, but black is always out of stock because I would prefer a black one for mine. They're $3.99. And literally, I use that when I use my Bath & Body Works candles because they're a bit shorter. And again, when I use medium Yankees, you can see straight away, I can't put it on there with a lid or undo it with one hand, but you can see straight away that's going to bring it up to basically the same height as what this would be under there. Let me just plop that there. So you can see there that level is basically the same because of the step. Um, and basically, if you take your candle off, that's just going to go solid. The only thing you might lose is the wick. So you can see my wick has sunk to the side. Um, if you don't prop that up, you will lose it and you won't be able to burn it the traditional way. So let me just pop that back under there. And as you can see, it's not, I'm touching it fine. It's not too hot. This top bit gets quite hot, but again, it's not hot enough to burn. My nails are all full lockdown nails. Um, you can keep your hand on that and it's not burning. So again, that's why, again, it's nice and safe. You can use medium jars on it. Bath and Body Works jars are fine. Large Yankee candle jars, absolutely fine. And all I do, when that top layer of wax stops smelling, I literally just pick it up from here, walk to the bin and tip it in the bin. That's all I do. Um, and obviously, as soon as you tip it in the bin, it just goes solid and it makes your bin smell nice because it's it's that last little bit of faint scent in there. And that is as easy as it is. Sometimes I grab a little bit of kitchen roll just to wipe the edge of the candle jar off with. Um, just because obviously as you tip it out, it's going to go up the side. Um, other people use like cotton balls and things like that. But to me, it's just a lot quicker and a lot more convenient to just pick up the jar, walk to the kitchen, tip it in the bin. As long as you've got a bin bag in there. It doesn't even matter what else is in there because it is just going to go solid straight away um, and cool down. So nothing to worry about really with that. But that is as simple as it is. Absolutely love my candle lamp. Um, and I know a lot of people did request the video. So I hope I've answered all your questions. Um, 
I just personally find them a lot safer and they make the candles perform a lot better. So everyone's opinion is different. I know some people really don't like these and don't get me wrong. I love having an oat, like I love the look and the, the feel of burning a candle the traditional way. I love it. I love it when it's like a cold night and you've got like the flicker of a candle, but just for me, for how many candles I burn, it's a lot more convenient for me to do this so I don't get sooty walls and I don't have to keep turn, like blowing them out and then relighting them. And you're straight away getting an even pull with this so you're not ruining any candles by getting tunnelling. So I hope this video has helped. Um, if you've got any other questions, please do just write it down in the comments below and I will answer them as best as I can. And again, it will be linked down below if you do want to have a little look at these. Um, I'm not sure where you would get them in the US, so I'll only be able to link it in the UK, but I hope this has helped. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll get some reviews out for you soon.